Eve. Veach here. Welcome to another episode of Banging with Chloe Veach. I'm still in shell shock that I've actually got my own podcast, to be honest with you. Um, if you haven't watched the previous episodes, go have a look um, and a listen. I am here. I'm sweating my tits off, to be quite honest with you. I'm so glad the air con's on. And um, I'm, off, I'm off my period. I'm fucking buzzing about that. I'm buzzing because the last time... I was actually really heavy and I was scared that I was leaking over the chair the whole time I was conversating with our guests. So, yeah, I just thought I'd spill that information for you guys because you know that this podcast is as open as my legs. Um, <laughs> you know that we start this podcast with things that I am obsessed with. And sometimes I have really boring weeks and I'm not obsessed with anything but I don't know if anyone's seen the trend or not on TikTok, but I love it. There's this guy, I can't remember where he lives, I think it's Spain or something swaggy like that. And what he does is he goes, very good, very nice, very good, very nice. And I'm obsessed with it. And I've been annoying all of my friends and family over the past week of just springing out in supermarkets. Very good, very nice. And everyone looks at me and whoever I'm with is just like, Chloe, will you just fucking stop embarrassing me? I just get a thrill off it. I love it. I actually went to Spain. I don't know if that's wherever he's located or not, but I was actually looking for him. I couldn't find him. Absolutely fuming. Waste of a trip, to be honest with you. Didn't even care about the sunshine. I just wanted to see the man, to be honest. And I've got a fun fact for you guys, because I love telling you fun facts that I don't even know in the Educating Chloe segment. That the average person spends 14 days of their life kissing. I definitely know that that can't be true for me, because I must spend already at least 200 days kissing because I just love it I love kissing I love tonguing not if the tongue's really hard though I'm just a bit like oh no I can't sorry just put it back in your mouth and then restart um so yeah that's the fun fact for today I'm out of facts to be honest with you I've not been around very in intelligent people recently <laughs> just 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 Nicole unfortunately fuming she's not full of facts I have to google them I'm joking <laughs> And one thing that I'm sick of this week, like absolutely sick of, I'm sorry for all my Love Island fans out there that are listening. I am so stressed about seeing t a Love Island memes. I'm just sick of it. Like, I don't care. I love Love Island. I don't watch it anymore. But I'm just sick of seeing memes every day about certain people because people get trolled. People are doing this and people are doing that. And like, there's so many controversial opinions and I'm just like, I don't want to see it. Just go about and live your life, Hans. Peace. Thank you. Anyway, enough about me. I'm sure you're very interested about my story and my fun facts. But I know that you guys come here because I bring the most epic fucking guests on that I can find. And um, I stumbled ac across this little beauty on TikTok, right? And I'll introduce who else she's with as well in a second, because I've also got another little surprise for you. There's not only one, there's two people on my guest panel today, which I'm a bit nervous about as well because I've never interviewed two people at the same time. So just give me a minute, I'm flustered. Um, it's Eden, everyone, from TikTok. She is a famous TikTok influencer. Oh. <laughs> she is, she's absolutely beautiful. More, oh, honestly, I'm just obsessed with you. Really? I'm fangirling. Oh. Like, when I messaged you and was like, please, can you come onto the podcast? I didn't know, like, what was going to happen. Because, like, I just... <laughs> I dream about you. I just love it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> and then obviously you're with your fiance. Right, you Lloyd is in the building, <laughs> ladies and That's gentlemen. Right, hello. <laughs> I am. Um... I'm so glad that you guys are on this podcast with me. Oh, we've got I nothing better am. to do, so. Honestly, I gathered that. <laughs> no. But we're I so just, happy to I be just, So you become famous on TikTok. Um, well, that word is just so embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I hate being referred to as famous. I'm but I like, guess, hey. yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Also, that, that man you're talking about at the beginning, he's from Tenerife, so no wonder you couldn't find him. 
Oh. Can you is Spain in Tenerife? I don't know. That's yeah, what it's I mean. Canary Islands, isn't it? Canary Islands? Is yeah, it's still close to Spain, yeah. Oh, okay. oh is it really? Mm. Where did you go You're to halfway Spain? there. A Palma. Palma. Oh, no, and babes. I was in... <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no wonder you can't find him. <laughs> for goodness sake. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. <laughs> I've been looking for the very good, very nice man in the wrong part of the world, Yeah, well, I guess. Different island. It's the passion, yeah. isn't it, that you have? That's... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe you can get him on here. I yeah. tried. I really want to do that, you know. <laughs> but apparently he's been charging people like five euros to take a video or selfie with him for saying very good, very nice. Mood. So he's monetizing it. Clever. <laughs> he's, he's just making money. You Make your money. Yeah, yeah. But I bet he's well boring if, like, when you want to just chat to him normally. Unless you buy glasses off him, he won't say it. Yeah, oh my God, we were in Tenerife. <laughs> and there was a man with a parrot. And apparently you're not allowed to talk to them or video them without paying. So I was on TikTok. I was like, oh, look, this man's got a parrot on his arm. And then Lloyd was like, put your phone down. This man gave me daggers. I was what? like, fucking yeah, parrot. Yeah, they, I would have paid to see a parrot. This uh, is also not a very good, very nice guy, but a guy that came over and he goes, do you want to buy a towel? I was like, no, thanks. Why not? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> because I don't need a towel. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I don't want one. We walked four miles in Tenerife to get on a jet ski. And we got there. We I don't know how. I thought, just yeah, just pay as you go. And you hop on one. He was like, come back in three hours. I was like, what? well, it's taken me fucking three hours to walk here. So by the time I'm back, it'll be the time to go on the jet ski. So we were really upset because we wanted to get some nice pictures on the jet ski. Oh, you're you know? joking. Yeah. yeah. Also, Eden promised to get hair braided by this lady. <laughs> so we were ducking and diving around Tenerife. I swear she was following us. Um, I was like, we can't go home that way. I promise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we had to get Google Maps artwork a different way home. It was mad. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they're so pushy. She's like, you come back and you get braids. I'm like, yeah. Eden, Eden was giving her times and I was like, what are you doing? She's going to find us. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, no, you're like me though. Yeah, I can't I'm say such no. a people pleaser. Yeah, I'm such a people pleaser, honestly. And that woman, I still feel bad now. And we're going are you back like that, July. Lloyd? Are you no. a people pleaser? Um, well, yeah, I, I don't know, really. You're I the think, opposite, I think. Yeah, if someone's trying to sell me something, they don't want it, but I don't know. You know, yeah. Yeah, it's just a straight up, no, I'm not wasting my time. Well, from what you've just said, with like, you're kind of a people pleaser like me, yeah. and you're just like, kind of straight up, like you say it how yeah, it I'm is. I'm very direct. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Would you say that you're compatible in Real. terms of yin and yang? Yeah, yeah completely. 100%, honestly. I'm like, Oh, we we should we should do this because th this person wants us. He's like, oh babe, fuck that. He's fuck like, that. Yeah, he's like, I'm not accent. doing that. No way. And like, oh, <laughs> I'm trying to get back into like horse riding again. And I'm like, oh, but I'm really nervous because like, I I I can't really remember. It's he goes, babe, it's, it's a fucking horse. Put it in a stable and give it a polo. <laughs> I'm like, I said, I said, oh, look, if you can't find any stables, just bang it in the garden. It'd be all right. She's yeah. like, you can't do that. I'm like, why Any not? questions listening, that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I just think people overcomplicate so many things and you just be really simple about stuff and yeah. it's quite easy. Yeah, he's really true. And he said to me the other day, because every time we do something fun, I always ruin it. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do you mean you ruin it? Don't say always, that. Always. No, like, you don't ruin it. You just, you basically... I can't believe I'm having such a nice time. Yeah, so I said to Ethan, I said, do you know what your issue is? You don't allow yourself to have fun. Mm. I was like, you're searching for something to be upset and like anxious or annoyed about. I was like, mm -hmm. why don't you just drop that and be in the moment? You know, yeah. like... You're like, oh my god, I'm having a very nice time. Why haven't I got an IBS flare up? And then you're like, there yes. it is. And then you perfect. Start, yeah. yeah. And then you kind of manifest yeah. it into something to worry about yeah. and to be anxious about. And then you're like, oh my god, no, anxiety causes it. And now I'm not, now I'm even more anxious. And it's oh fuck. And then, then you then. Google it, and it says you, you're going to die. Yeah. Yeah. Eden, I, I swear I've to died three times. Stuff, my that, BS. That Eden Googles, my what are you doing? And like, I know she'll go <laughs> do quiet. You know what I Googled the other day. Why do I only like my fiance and no one else? <laughs> oh, you're joking. <laughs> Because, like, like, everyone annoys me. It's obviously not you, like, you're lovely. But, like, in my life, like, I get so... I have such a short temper, and I'm like, oh, my God, like, I just want to get out of here. But I want to be with him. But, like, yeah. I want to get out of this situation. Like, even if we go for lunch with my sister, I adore my sister on anything. But <laughs> I'm like, I can't... My social time is done. Yeah. But never with him. Yeah, we, we Since chill Since the day together. we met, we've never spent more than two, three, four nights apart. Wow. I think three, yeah. Wow. I got this um, really nice, it, it was it was good, I got this amazing apartment out of a friend in just like one road from Brick Lane. And like mm. top floor flat and sixth floor, massive balcony, it was three balconies, like loads, it was just so cool. You've just and, moved in. Yeah, I've well. just moved in. I uh, met Eden and then, you know, I think like I'd stayed there for, I think the maximum I'd stayed there in three months was 10 nights. Mm -hmm. I just stayed with it, stayed at Eden's every other night. And I was like, do you know what? I'm paying mad money. It's really there. weird hearing you say my name. Yeah, it is. He never calls me Call Eden. Baby. He, really? calls every, he calls me baby to everyone, to the point <laughs> I was in Tenerife. <laughs> 
And Lloyd had gone to the toilet and I was coming out of my buffet plate. I didn't know where Lloyd had sat us. And the waiter goes, baby, baby. <laughs> oh, you're joking. <laughs> baby, you are baby. You sit here. I was like, oh my goodness. So he t everyone knows that he's like, oh, and baby does this and baby does that. Yeah, you know a baby is this baby. It's, oh, it's, I love so that. Don't he, put baby in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when he's saying Eden, I'm like, what have I done? Yeah, that sounds weird. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, I love being called baby. Yeah. Like this guy that I'm talking, if I get in a relationship, I have to be called baby or baby girl. <laughs> yeah. And my friends hate it. Really? They're like, oh, that's so cringy. I'm no, like, fuck not. off. No, we yeah, don't yeah. get cringed out by anything. But like, he's not calling me babies in like, Come here, baby. Like he will, but like that's what he's calling me as my name. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, it's all just, baby. it's just babies doing yeah. this. And mum, my mum now is like, oh, is baby getting up now? And Lloyd's <laughs> like, yeah, baby's just brushing her teeth. Like it's never like baby. Like yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah, basically just renamed your baby, haven't mm. I? That's yeah. It. His pet names for me are like Poppet or like Darling. Or yeah. Like, he's very lovely. Oh, I love him. Oh, good. don't, guys. I, I love do. it. I love we're it so cute. much. We're cute, aren't we? Too yeah. much it we're, fucking we're hurts. Sickly. I just can't believe your recent search on Google was, why do I only like my fiancé no one else? Yeah. Like, I want to know more Google searches. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my I God. I want to know. If I could get up my history right now. Yeah, so when I Please use, do. When, when, if I, I, no, I, when if I use Eden's phone, <laughs> she has to delete do. all the history. She's like, it's too bad, Lloyd, you can't see what I'm looking at. Let me turn my phone back on. Uh, the other day, someone wanted to, oh my goodness, someone wanted to get a picture with me, but they told me to use my phone. I was like, I don't want that picture on my phone. But like, yeah. like, they're like, send it to me on Instagram. I'm like, just send it That's so you phone? message them. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But um, <laughs> I've got my phone up and it was on Google search and it said, if I hold my poo in until the <laughs> afternoon and don't go in the morning, will it be more solid? <gasps> Which I, I think is quite a valid question. But, um, I mean, that's something yeah. I would Google. Because right, well, you know when you go for a really nice rock hard, like, <laughs> sausage? Yes. <laughs> Love and it. it feels amazing. Yeah, but in the morning it's just a bit like... <sighs> Like, it's like, oh, what was a that? A little toffee crisp. Yeah. Mine have been, <laughs> we love a toffee crisp. <laughs> Mine have been green recently. Mm. Have you been eating lots of, lots of um, spinach and stuff? Vegetables. Yeah, no, but that's yeah. good. It's protein. Is it? Yeah, 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 it's good. Because one I thing about me I went for a shit the other day. You... Oh, my God, I got IBS in France, right? Freya found... You caught it in France. <laughs> no, I got it. I was so stressed about something. She may as well have bought it on day one. Freya went in the medicine <laughs> cabinet where it's filled with medicine because like someone lived in this house and they were just like renting it out. She went in this cupboard and found stuff and it said on it, anti diabetes so we're like anti-diarrhea yeah found out it was activated charcoal which is <gasps> kind of like poison so I went for a shit the next day I was like it literally looked like black <laughs> it was just black did it smell no because apparently if you and I found this out on another podcast that I was on recently yeah because I've got IBS as yeah, well twinning I went to the toilet, yeah. runs disgusting green smelly poo. <laughs> and um, oh, it's horrible. I was sorry, it. guys, if you're eating. Yeah, um, sorry. Have a banana. This, yeah, this woman said to me, if you get charcoal tablets and you eat them or whatever, like actual prescribed ones, by the way, go to the doctors to get them, mm -hmm. um, it stops your poo from being smelly. Yeah, so ch charcoal's like a natural filter that you use. So like, you know when you cook a hood with your cooker, th those are charcoal screens, and that's what takes all the smell out of your kitchen. I so. feel like that's the best part of a poo, though, isn't it? Like the smell. Like, everyone likes their own brand. Yeah, you know like I mean? sometimes when I fart, I smell it. If he farts, <laughs> oh my god, he had these TikTok noodles the other day, the ninety nine p spicy ones. Yeah. Yeah, it was it's bad, literally that. like a nuclear war in our bedroom. It's awful. But yeah. I'm getting used to his, but like if it's my own, I'm like, oh, that's lovely. I love it. Yeah. Ba babies Why? are so loud, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, like... I've got bunda. <laughs> so bunda! That, when, I, when I fart, you know. Yeah, it's got it's got a lot of cheek to go through, so you it's know, literally. Like, <laughs> but he finds it really funny. I don't really like farting in front of him. I've never pooed in front of him. Have <laughs> you not? No. See, that surprises me because no. you're so comfortable in front of him. I would other. never poo in front of him because I have IBS. You never know what's coming out. Never if say I never, knew, though. If I no, I just know. No. Um, I don't care if he shits in front of me, but he do, he loves in supermarkets. I'll do really <laughs> ignorant farts in a full dial. Yeah, honestly, I'll just I... go, <laughs> and just walk off because it's not awkward for the person that farts. It's no. awkward for everyone around. Yeah, because they don't know what to do. I uncontrollably laugh, so it looks like it's me. That's done <laughs> he it. loves it. Uh, but so honestly, much. it's one of my favourite things the baby does. Yeah, but she farts no, I just in the supermarket. <laughs> Sorry, she she, well, she does as well. Tell <laughs> me a story, Lloyd. So Come on. Remember the day we were in France? Or whatever it's called. You look Claire. Yeah, and um, basically there's this woman bending over to like, look in this bread basket or whatever. <laughs> he went over, like a, a foot away from her, lifted her leg up and then did it and then turned off down this aisle. <laughs> and I, 
I was woken up to her and I just could not stop crying. It was the funniest thing ever. There was the best things one. when other people laugh as I think, well. I think when we were in Tel Aviv, um, there was like... Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we just got engaged. We just got engaged. And we were sat there on these sun lounges at like 8pm. The sun was setting. It was nice. And um, yeah, so I it was just it was just me and Eden in this like complex. It's like not not a huge pool, but it was just yeah. us there. And anyway, it was like it was all glass walled, so it was quite echoey. Anyway, I was halfway back to the um the old ground floor apartment thing, and Eden did the loudest fart in the world, man. I swear to God, it literally bounced next to me. I and gone. There was this couple sat on their <laughs> terrace or whatever, and they looked at me and I was holding my belly, laughing. And then she did it again, and this couple were disgusted by me. And it wasn't me, obviously, but I just could not. I don't care either. Um, but yeah, I just could not stop laughing. I got the dirtiest looks from this old couple. And I had to go inside and put my face in the pillow because I was screaming. Oh, laughter. my God, I love it. Yeah, oh God, it brilliant. <laughs> Eden, that is just... I love it because I'm that it. girl. Yeah. I'm that girl where I feel... But do you find that as a compliment? Because, like, when Eden does fight in yeah, front yeah. of you, it means that she loves you and she's comfortable oh around you. Oh, my God, you. we didn't for months. And my... St- <laughs> oh, my... We used to go to the... Sp- oh, my God, I remember once, though. Do you remember, like, after a week... You thought I'd gone downstairs, and I came back up to the room, and it stung. <laughs> no, and you'd released your trap when the trap went to the beginning of a relationship. Why would you do it to yourself? See, I feel like we definitely need to touch on that yeah. because the advice that I would give to someone that's just entering a relationship, right, that holds their trap wind in, like what me and he didn't yeah. do, in the beginning of a relationship, if you really like someone, because yeah. otherwise I'd just let it out. Oh, yeah. Um, what I would normally do is just go, oh... I drank so much water today, I just need to go to the toilet. And then I'll go to the toilet and I'll fold up some tissue. I'll squat on the floor. I'll put, <laughs> I'll put the tissue on my bum hole. And then as you squat, it flows out and it goes I love that. No scent either. It's just pure. And then you wash your hands. Yeah. That's amazing. And okay, I've never happened. done that. I've always just held it and just like, it's so awkward when you're lying there. It's like And your belly rumbles. My belly's rumbling right now because I'm starving. But like in the beginning of a relationship, that was the worst, wasn't it? Because now yeah. I know how much you fought. My God, you must have been in agony. Yeah, I think I think once when I left the Indians, I think I did like a twelve seconder <laughs> at the door. It had like three tones to it. <laughs> um, yeah, it, was, it just it was nonstop. But you'd be in agony when I left. It was like, it's like the elf when he burps. Did you yeah. hear that? Oh, I'm such a good burper as well. Yeah, like, I can do really long, like, Rawr. Oh, my God. I'm really good at that. That is just, honestly, your relationship I'm so jealous of because I think it's really unique to find someone that just fits in with you and how you are as a person and just feeling comfortable around that person and, like, just being yourself. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like... Obviously, in the past, Eden, on your TikToks and your socials, you've mm-hmm. been really open to being vulnerable with your followers. Oh, my God. To yeah. either spread awareness or to... you done the Eat With Eden, didn't mm-hmm. you? I'm um, starting that up again. Really? Recently. I yeah. see that yesterday. Yeah, but I'm starting it now, but I'm doing it differently. I'm not going to do it so, like, direct and, like, a little bit patronising sometimes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, like, what have you had? Like, Because I did a lot of online courses about eating disorders when... Cause I attracted a lot of people who struggled to eat, so I needed to read into that and see mm-hmm. what I was doing and how to approach. And how yeah. to, a lot of things is like you need to distract them. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people do eat with me, and I watch them like it's amazing you're doing it, but at the same time you're being too patronising. You're mm. looking at the screen, they're like, take your first bite. You can't <laughs> do that. You literally just crack on with it, and then someone will feel relaxed, and then they'll do it as well. Yeah, it's like with a kid. Like if you if you're going to the kid, eat that, eat that. They're not going to want to no, do it. But if you look away from them and you just do your own thing, then they'll slowly start to eat, and then they'll like what they've eaten, and then they'll carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do it definitely a lot more relaxed than it was, and just not as often because yeah. I just I wasn't enjoying it anymore. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's with yeah. anything in it, really. If you do something over and over again, it's fun to begin with, yeah. and then it kind of becomes routine. But one thing that I've learned as well, right, mm-hmm. is that when you grow, your followers grow with you. Yeah. So Most of them. Most of them, Some yeah. resent you and want... Because yeah. they watch you from the beginning. They do. And they're, they're like, like why oh, have you changed? changed. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It's just who I am now. Like, yeah. everyone goes through, like, either a pain stage where yeah. they grow from that pain or yeah. everyone goes through, like, a stage where they get boyfriend or yeah. fiance and it's like you kind of want to you're like you've incorporated Lloyd in your TikTok yeah. perfectly because we were so it's almost like that. one minute he wasn't there and then one minute it's like wow mm. Lloyd and Eden like they're a perfect couple and like 
at one time, like even now, you guys are all over TikTok. And I love seeing you together because mm. it's never forced. Mm. And no. I feel like you've eased into Lloyd, like yeah. being on your TikTok and yeah. vice versa. And everyone like is growing with you as a journey. We were so scared to do yeah, that. Yeah, I we we weren't actually we didn't have any plans for me to go on TikTok. I um, loads of people who really invested in Eden were proper um, basically going through all her followers on Instagram, mm -hmm. seeing who it was, and then I'd like look, my profile wasn't on private. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna gonna put this on private. And then if someone worked out who it was, I was getting like 30 requests a day, and I was like, oh, okay. they so, found the worst. Yeah, so I mean, and someone found this photo of me where it looked absolutely butters. No, um, and they whacked it all over TikTok. Cause like, this is Eden like, House boyfriend. Yeah, we can't like, have you nah. thinking that. Fast. I was like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It, I look like a two out of ten at best, yeah. and um, I was like, I can't do this. I was like, oh, I've, I've no. got to, you know what I mean? I've just got to show my face. So we had no choice but to do yeah, that. Yeah, so mm. I, you know, we we kept me secret for as long as a couple of people like going online, finding mm. tattoos on me arm and then like oh yeah cause I, I did a lot of stuff online for my old uh, company and recruitment um and yeah people were, like proper detectives yeah. just going through it and i was like yeah you are they are me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, crazy. yeah i was just like wow this is pretty pretty mad and um on mine and eden's first day it was so funny because i i interviewed eden and um slid into her dms and kept, so you like, slid into her dms yeah, oh i love it taking the slide into mine <laughs> um <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we went on our first day, and I knew what TikTok was. So I didn't, I didn't know, um, didn't know anything about it. I just knew what it was. Didn't even have it on my phone. Mm. And anyway, so we went out on our first date. So we went to Wonderland. People coming up to like, oh, can I get a photo? And I was like, what? And, like, loads Who of is this girl, please? Yeah. Like, is she from Disney or something? Yeah. She's gorgeous. <laughs> so she, like, yeah, she is. <laughs> um, and so yeah, loads of people coming over. I was like, fuck, she's actually proper famous, isn't it? Mm. And I said to me, I was like, yeah, do you know? Do you know what? Um, I go, I'm checking. She's actually like proper famous, you know. And they're like, really? So it's like, yeah. So we looked from TikTok, she's like three million followers. Like, what? I was like, this is mad. And then I was like, what's she doing with me? So, oh, uh, yeah. no. <laughs> I was just, um, loads of people are, oh, yeah, you know, you're just desperate for clout on that. Like, I had no idea. Please who just ignore dating. those people. I didn't want to put him on social media because I, selfish again. Um, I just wanted him to myself. Yeah, no, cool. Because I don't want anyone to say something horrible about him. And yesterday, oh my God. I was in floods of tears. Yeah, I'll were. cry again talking about it, but I won't because my eyelashes. Um, <laughs> Save them, girl. But he he's quite critical about himself suddenly. When I met him, he's so confident, mm. didn't give a fuck about anything. And I said to him, if I let you on social media and let you start it, do you promise me you will not let the negativity get mm. down? Because you will get it. Yeah. Because everyone. Oh, babes, I don't give a fuck. Like, and then I find him and I'm like, why are you like drinking like protein shakes? Are we not having dinner? He's like, yeah, well, I'm just like, like, just like stuff online. Like mm. people say stuff. And I literally just burst into tears. I was like, you promise me. Like, oh, it's quite a hard thing to keep a promise on that though, isn't it? You, people <laughs> say to you, don't listen to the trolls. You have, you can't not listen. Yeah, I know. Because they're so, all, like, they're they're always there. Like if you look in your DMs or the comments mm. or whatever, I get it on my TikTok videos. But like I'm, I've got flat bum, and I'm, I used to be called anorexic all the time when I was younger. I got That's bullied awful. really bad at school, and people used to chuck food at me because they used to be like, "Oh, you don't That's eat enough." Mark. And it's like I can't help the fact that I'm really slim. Yeah. And people are like, especially girls. Sometimes they come up to me and they're like, "Oh, Chloe, um, it should be. It's all right for you because you've got a really slim figure." And I'm like, "Yeah, but I've got a complex about that yeah. because yeah. of my trauma." Yeah. So obviously, like, was there a reason behind? you wanting to keep each other from social medias at the beginning? Like, was it just like, you just wanted him to yourself and you just wanted to I wanted to him like... to myself because I knew if I brought him online, I'm quite like, I'm not toxic, but like, <laughs> if I'm online. Oh yeah, I used to be with him. I used to be with him. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I've slept with him. Yeah. Oh, he's really fit. All of this. Yeah. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, no, of course. So you don't get that in a normal relationship. Yeah, you're so, entitled to your privacy. Yeah, yeah so like, it just all comes out. And then like, he was on a dating show as well. <laughs> that like he'd filmed before he met me and then like that came out and everyone's like oh my god he's so rude like he I was basically there was a radio <laughs> own it he went on a date with a radio presenter and she said he said I fucking hate the radio it's full of ads and it's shit music and the girl mm -hmm. was like you know I do radio he goes yeah that's one thing about Lloyd is he'll own it. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah. It's not rude. He just has zero filter. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, um, just, I'll just say how it is. I'm not going to bullshit you and tell yeah, you no, it's course. amazing. So yeah, yeah. People might make like their own like version of who the, who he is yeah. and who I am. and They have no idea. Everyone's yeah. got a perception. What, yeah. what I say to Eden is they don't know us. They know our TikTok. Mm. Like you don't, you don't know an artist. You know the song. What's it you said? I know, <laughs> I know eBay. <laughs> yeah, like, I know eBay. I know what's on it. Like an yeah, awesome yeah, word, yeah. the bastard. But you know what I mean? I don't know Mr. eBay or yeah, whatever exactly. like that. Do you know what I mean? Like you just know a page, mate. Calm down, like don't. Pe and then people like you change. Like when you'd be gutted if you'd stayed the same for the last six years. Like yeah. everyone of wants course. to grow and adapt. So, like oh that's how God. you do it. If I was yeah. the same person I was even when I first started TikTok. I was 
I was in pain and I was like yeah. really like fucked at that place mentally and it's quite like selfish of the followers to think like you should be that same person you were when you were upset and single and had no one mm-hmm. like it's <laughs> yeah. just like more I'm happy now like well on the upside of people who follow you obviously because you've got such a public relationship now like what upsides does that have like what are no <laughs> most of the <laughs> what are most of the comments like the good comments that you oh get my God, through like the relationship that's what we always say we say the love outweighs the bad of course it does good yeah. thank I'm you glad. to all the nice yeah, people honestly, on thank TikTok you. Fuck you, trolls. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's so many nice people. I, I can't think of one nice comment. Can you? Um, do you know what? Pe- people are always nice about the way I treat you. Yeah. Um, you know, people are, Lord, you're such a gentleman's reading. Um, mm. Do you know? No, I am. Uh, but yeah. But oh, they get, always say like, oh, I wish I could find something. Yeah, but like the, the nicer thing is like the, my friends, like my really good mates, like I just want what you've got. Like mm-hmm. so, so many of my close mates are like, Lord, your, your relationship's mad. I'm yeah. so jealous of it. Yeah. And like, you know, I've got a friend called Ricky, big up Ricky. Oh, um, big up Rick. <laughs> yeah, and he, he's like, um, you know, he's just like, mate, like what, how do I get an Eden? And just like all this kind of stuff. So, mm. you know, it's, it's really nice. And I think it's nicer to listen to, you know, your friends. Like yeah. what, what's that saying that people who mind don't matter and the people that don't matter, um, Something well, like that. Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Work yeah. it out. Um, but yeah, the message is in there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, do you know what I mean? It's just about people that you care about. You care about their opinions. And yeah. if they care about you, then it's just nice to hear. But there's a lot of good people online, um, a lot of nice people. Mm-hmm. But I would say it's really hard, right? Because you get all oh, you get these stacks and stacks of nice comments and you really don't think it. It's like you have a little And you penalise yeah, on you're it. Just yeah. like, yeah. what? And then yeah. like, you, you look at yourself, like, what are you doing, man? Like, do you know what I mean? If you walk past 400 people in the street today and look everyone went hi, hi, and then someone went fuck off, you're like, well, yeah, but whatever. you'd ignore them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but we were at the summertime reason. ball actually the other day. Sorry, babe. We were on the, at the summertime ball the other day, and there's like eighty thousand people there. And I like I was saying to my friends and Lloyd like this isn't even ten percent of my following, and mm. how do I expect all of these people to like me? Exactly. Like mm. one of them's going to be like, oh, you're a bitch. Yeah. Like. I'd probably be the same. I I wouldn't like all of those people. Yeah. So do you suffer with anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know, like the scale. Wait, I thought you watched my TikTok. No, I do. I I am a mess. I just want to know more about him. Uh, go on, anything you want to know. <laughs> I am the most anxious person. Yeah, I rattle when I walk. I take so many pills. Like obviously, like not saying to ever do that. Describe. Right thing. <laughs> not. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I am. I have a problem and I'm really, really bad. So anxious. We've. What do you say when we go into a hotel room or? Yeah, well, I know, I know baby straight away. So I can tell within five seconds when I walk into a hotel room if we're staying there or not. Oh, okay. And now uh, we walked into a hotel room and like straight away I was like, we're not staying here. And it was like five hours away in Wales. Mm. So we went for a meal with um, Eden's sister, a family. And then we got back to the hotel and I was like, right, do you want to get in the car? She's like, thank you so much. Oh, we still had a shag in the hotel though, didn't <laughs> yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Did you? We Love used it. it what it was needed for. Love a good like, quickie. I'm yeah, not yeah. sleeping there. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, baby did Oh, we had a quickie there. in a haunted house, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> does, that, does that cause like, not arguments as such, but... He would never. No. You Because you don't sound like the couple t- to argue. It's more like <laughs> supportive. Yeah. Or is it not? Yeah. yeah. So like... I know it's frustrating mm. to be the partner of someone that's so mentally ill. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Yeah, no, you're not like I that. always cry and I'm like, I'm so sorry I'm like this. I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's like, baby, I don't care. If it happens really regularly within the same week, he will lose his call and he'll be like, mm. I've done this, I've done this. Like, fuck, like, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. Like, it's communication. I yeah. understand that though. Some, sometimes, you know, if it's like um, like a week of everyday tears and, you know, and then for me, it's like the constant reassurance, like, you know, it's fine. Like, I don't mind doing it at all. But when we start to, you know, go over the same things over and over in the space of a week, I'm like, I'm like I do a bit of like tough love. Yeah. I'm like, right, you need to snap out of this now. Yeah. You need to zoom out. Yeah. And like, we he do, we do, yeah, we do comfort or solutions. So when yeah. someone, you know. Oh my God, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like, do you, want, do you want comfort or do you want a solution? You never want a solution. You want to wallow in your pain. And you want yeah, some exactly. Because yeah. like, if you're pissed off about something, the worst thing, like, you know there's a, you can solve the problem, but you mm. just want to be annoyed about it. So we yeah. say comfort or solutions, as in like, solutions, I can tell you how to solve this problem, we can do it together, or comfort, I can just cuddle you and let you just be upset. Cry and yeah. That's yeah. a big thing yeah. for us, is communication. Yeah. We're very good at that, actually. But, and, you know, and on the other hand as well, with, with baby and anxiety, like, imagine having anxiety and then someone shouting at you being annoyed because you've got I've anxiety. That. Like, it's yeah. just, no, yeah. it's not going to, it's not going to better the situation, That's why I apologise so much to him because of my past, isn't yeah, it? I'm just so like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, we, exactly. took, we took a wrong 
so, no, ba- baby's the best at directions, right? So <laughs> be like, she'll be on the phone, she's like this, she'll be driving. Like, she's like, yeah, go left. I'm like, where? She went back there. Oh, like, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> does it all the time. I'm but, like, oh, the, you're meant to take that left. So, um, yeah, so, um, you know, I was like, I was like, all right, no worries. I was just like laughing because it's funny, isn't See, it? See, now that, can I just stop for a second? That is perfect way of communicating. Yeah. Right, I just want to talk about, right, Men shouting my, about directions. my previous, because some of my exes, right, have literally screamed at yeah, me for scream. stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm like, no, like, without diving into that, mm. but, like, um, because obviously I haven't got a boyfriend to relate it to, so I'm just <laughs> like, I have to go back to exes, okay? <laughs> previous ones that have failed. Like, obviously, we know that, that Eden and Lloyd are engaged, and we know that it's a relationship that is blossoming, and they're just so in love, and they they... They sound and they look perfect together, right? Obviously, Thank there's you. ups and downs in every relationship. But what you're what you're saying with like the comfort and solution, that is something I'm going to remember now. Yeah, yeah from, take it with you from this podcast because yeah. that's the standards we should be setting and what you should yeah. be setting as a man yeah. and a woman yeah. to be in a relationship that's also in the public eye mm-hmm. because. No one likes a fucking toxic relationship. No. And obviously I land myself in toxic relationships all the yeah, time. Yeah, we all have. Yeah, but of we learn our lessons from it. Yeah. And you must be so happy mm. to be in this relationship with Lloyd. Yeah. Knowing that you can have a meltdown every now and again. Yeah, and you can fucking cry. Yeah. And Lloyd will just be like, do you want comfort? Do you want a shag or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah. want so, a shag or not? So that, that's actually one of baby's best things. He's like, Lloyd, when we have sex, I have no anxiety. So can we just have sex, you know? Yeah, it, I have it, no anxiety when we're having sex. Like, I can be so <laughs> worried about everything. And then suddenly it's in. And I'm like, oh. I love it. <laughs> how many, if it's too personal, let me know. Ask how many sex, How many times do you have sex a day? Well, in the beginning, it was definitely three. Yeah, it's like day. three. Four. There was one day where we did seven. It was bliss. Oh, that was a lovely day. Yeah, it was stunning. Could you um, walk afterwards? Oh, I get chafe. I'm like, oh, it's. Sore. I don't really leave my bed much, to be honest, guys. Oh yeah, no, we're closer <laughs> to bed sores than chafe. Yeah, like, we just no. Down Lloyd is quite well hung. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, Chloe, but it has to be said. Now, because we spend so <laughs> much time together. Maybe like it's wonder why I'm this cocky, isn't it? <laughs> you know I mean? He's got big dicks in there. Yeah. <laughs> he loves it. BD. Yeah, he doesn't give a shit. But like now, probably like in a week at least six. Like yeah. Oh, that's... basically every day of the week. Yeah, yeah or maybe, maybe like twice off. one yeah. one night. Or... Yeah, so maybe like one at night, one in the morning, then nothing for like a day or two. And yeah, that's another thing we've definitely it. realized is that like the difference between being in love and loving. Mm-hmm. So being in love is like when you have really good days together and like you get butterflies and like you have really nice days. Then there's some days where we're bored, and that's normal. Mm, that is yeah, no, yeah. no one talks about that. No. Everyone's like, "Oh, I'm so in love." I'm so, some days we're not in love, and some mm. days we're just like, "I, I love him." You and that, those love. are the days yeah. you will choose just to love. Love is a choice. Yeah. Being in love is a feeling. Yeah. So in love is like when we're like holding hands and like having a really nice date night. Love is when we're both sat next to each other, bored as fuck on our phones, yeah. have nothing to say to each other. Yeah. I still love him, but yeah. like I'm not like yeah, super like. Don't need to be supposed. constantly amused. Yeah. Like baby has this and thing you, about. Um, worrying if I'm bored or not. Yeah. It's just like, oh, you know, do you find, think I'm boring? I'm like, no. Yeah, he's taught me that because yeah. in, in my past I felt like I had to entertain everyone and keep, uh, or they're gonna leave. Yeah, so definitely. You, said, like, you never need to feel like that. I'm not going anywhere. Like, just chill. I yeah. get like that though. Yeah. It's almost like you want to make sure that they're comfortable being where they are, and you want to make sure that that because like, I always get the fear right of being in the group group chat of the boys yeah. like being in bed or having sex and then them going to the toilet with their phone I'm like oh my god what are they saying yeah. about me in the toilet yeah. on the boys group chat and like the constant anxiety so like oh, I'm glad that you guys have the co- the, the communication because yeah. yeah I mean you just address yeah just look just say it how it is do you know is. what I say to him if he thinks that he can just have sex with me and come and then lie back down. <laughs> yeah, I'm not allowed that. No. You better cuddle yeah. me or make me no, finish. No, no, no. I say to him, <laughs> yeah, go on, what do I say? So, once we, we were having sex and then um, I lay back down I was like, Whoo. and uh, she looks at me and she goes like this. <laughs> like, she, <laughs> no, she, she, yeah, yeah, she pointed down. She's like, you better jump back on the horse. Like, no, what are you I doing? It. It's, it's, it's what, to fuck again or to no, no, to finish me out yeah, to so, finish, yeah. yeah. So baby needs to come, so that's yeah. just, that's sort that sounds so weird. Why <laughs> are you just coming and then like, that's nothing now yeah. for me. Yeah, and men think, preach it. He's sis. taught, re, he, I've taught him very well. He, uh, th- he thought that penetration and girls going, ah, makes you come. Like, no, no not real girls. It's true, it's true story. Yeah, it's all about the clit. 
It so I've is. Taught, I've taught him, and he knows that now. He will, never, he will never just, unless it's a quickie, he will never just lie down and go back to sleep, because that is one thing I hate, and I promise myself that will never happen to me again. And you'll never settle for anyone. No, so now it's just like, I know. You've got, got a job to do. You so she's it. taught you well then? Yeah, we've got like, you know, when I go down on baby, we've got like heads, so I basically... Yeah, honestly, like, he, yeah. Ha he has all the touches, he knows exactly what everything means, that ear means that, yeah. that goes so, like, I get yeah. double taps, I get my yeah. head You're yeah. joking. Nah, nah. What? Really yeah. So it's like a system. Yeah, yeah, basically. So it's yeah, like, yeah. Cause one thing for me that I hate when a guy goes down on me, right, this? is like, <laughs> yeah, but it's really hard, no, just, just snog softly it. snog it. Make it really sensual. Or like, if they're licking your... What is it, labia? Yeah. That's nothing. Like, no, what are you doing? I don't feel that, I don't mate. want that. I don't want I'm that sorry. labia there, so why are you licking it? Kurt, go up. I say to him all the time, up, up, up. Like, or why are you sucking hairball. on my beef curtain? That's doing nothing <laughs> Yeah, for stop sucking on the beefy. Yeah. She's like, Lord, you're closer to my thigh than my clip. So yeah. what are you yeah. doing? <laughs> and he's getting really into it. He's like, mm. I'm like, that's so my how, thigh. How did you teach him then? Was you oh, just it's like... It's just a working progression, isn't it? He was quite cocky it? when he first met me. He was like, yeah, I got taught to do this by a lesbian, so yeah, I really know what I'm doing. Um, so it was all right, but, um, but you were like, no. <laughs> Every yeah. vagina Get down is off different. your high horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like your thumbprint, isn't it? Everyone's is different. They do, they work the same kind of like a car, mm -hmm. but they're all different. Yeah. So I just taught him, and I was like, I, I can say things to him like slow down or up, or but I never used to be able to do that. I'd be too embarrassed. I'd lie there and just like and just, fake it, and, and then, then go it. to sleep and be like, do you still love me? Like, whereas <laughs> yeah. now it's just like. Come and lick me out. <laughs> what is it I said the other day? You were like, oh, baby, can I can I DJ for a bit? I'm like, if you lick me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when it got up and made sure, yeah, when you come back, you're licking me out. I was like, all right, fine. Oh, my God, that is so funny. Done deal. See, I think I that's, that's well. great, the confidence. Like, <laughs> when I get in new relationships or, like, relationships that I've been in for, like, a good couple of months or whatever, I still feel obliged to to fake the orgasm. So I want you to give me a little bit of advice and yes. to anyone that is listening mm -hmm. that feels stuck in that cycle yeah. and that prison in their mind where they're no. like, I feel like I'm not good in bed if I say to that person like, the truth, I'm sorry, but it doesn't feel nice because yeah, yeah. I'm well, a people pleaser. <laughs> so how yeah. would you... I'm just gonna tell you, I'm sorry, I'm gonna interrupt. If a guy finds out you've been faking orgasms, it's the most crushing thing yeah. in the world. Yeah. So to, you know, to save the guy from embarrassment, You'd much rather be told, you know, yeah. not to like how all the bells and whistles work. But don't say it. Sometimes don't say it in the moment. Discuss it afterwards. Okay. Or yeah. like, or like, just when you're like chilling in the car together. I said, I've, I've said to him like, I love when you do this. Or like, and then like he'll take that on board, and then like next. So it's a positive. So yeah, you're yeah. Pushing yeah. positive. Yeah, but like, if in the moment, just like deal with it and like. Yeah, and then pull when, the hair up, yeah. left, right, yeah. down. Just like hump <laughs> the face <laughs> and then throw him away. I throw you as well. Yeah, so, oh my I God. stopped doing that because yeah. he said it was very offensive. Yeah, I just pushed his head away. Once, once I went, I went down on it on Eden and um. When I was done, she literally pushed me off, like, and then she rolled over. So I, was like, hold, I was like, hold the fucking phone. I was like, yeah, what are you doing? No. And she was like, oh, sorry. I was like, that is the fucking rudest thing anyone has ever done. Like, I'm not some sort of object who just comes around and wakes you out. I was like, you're mad. So my fetish is like, a, that is my fetish. Is it? <laughs> to have like a slave to so that really? nobody does that. Have you got any fetishes or is it just from Eden's end? Just, yeah, just laundry. Eden's end, yeah. Um, oh my God, Eden put on this. Like, mine's like laundry and that. Yeah. Eden put on this uh, this outfit once and I had to have sex with her immediately. Mm -hmm. like, didn't even get it done up. Yeah, she, she didn't even finish putting She's it on. She's so sexy. I but she come out in it and I was like, get on that bed now and like launch from the bed and then, yeah, straight on. But yeah, like Eden looks absolutely banging in in lingerie. So that, that's basically me. Mm -hmm. And then because Eden's a bit of a filth pot anyway, like that just turns me on. Like, no, do it. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I'd, honestly, this guy that I've been talking to, he will say to me, like, "Have you got any kinks?" And I'm like, "No, I haven't," because I genuinely haven't really? got any fetishes. No, what I haven't. What porn do you watch? Oh, lesbian porn. Yeah, so you like being licked out. That's what you like to watch. So that's oh, what you like. yeah. So that's my kink then. Yeah, you don't have to have like a fetish. Like I'm really fucked up. <laughs> when I wasn't with Lloyd, I watched porn about six times a day, every day for two years. I was, I, you give me a porn star, I'll tell you their life story and what hospital they were born in. You're like, joking. No, I was had a really bad porn addiction. Um, I haven't watched porn since being with him. Yeah, so we, we watch our porn. Get a round of applause. <laughs> um, Love it. But no, you're into that, oral. That's right. what you love to watch. I love, I only really watch lesbians. Yeah, same. Yeah. I can't, I don't know why, but I can't watch It's because he doesn't know what he's doing. Porn. It's because when, when you watch straight porn, he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. Like sh he's doing like this he's and she's going, ah, oh, like thinking he likes, it. he doesn't like, she and doesn't, like, she's not enjoying it. I like the intimacy with porn. So like when they're kissing the and they're line? touching. <laughs> Sometimes, I love yeah. The story. It's like he came round and he texted me to see if I was free. <laughs> and then I zoom forward and I'm like, wait, how did they get into that? And then I go back and I'm like, 
wait, I'm not here for an analysis. I'm <gasps> here. But like, it happens at the most random times. You don't even have to be horny. Yeah. You're just bored and you're like, do you no, know literally. Like, do you know what? Yeah, I, I started a job as a plumber. I was surprised when I didn't get sucked off when I went to this customer's house. <laughs> That's <laughs> always like, it, isn't yeah. it? The plumber. I was like, oh, four old plumbers got sucked off. <laughs> You're like, joking. Yeah, so yeah, you obviously. just got the plunge. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, but, um, no, but porn <laughs> is so toxic. It is. It really is. It because, is. Like, especially when you look at different vaginas, because mm. you're like, mine doesn't look like that. Yeah. Mine's lopsided. Mine's got way more meat on it than that. Mm. Like, I haven't got the prettiest for JJ. Neither have I. I mean, I've been told it's, it's all right. Yeah, he loves mine. He, <laughs> he made so it out beautiful. of clay the other day. <laughs> oh, I love that. No, but, Chloe, it's so ugly. It's, it's like an outie. It's like, no, it's mm. not. It's, See, honestly, mine's it's an outie. Like, yeah, but perfect, normalize yeah. the outie. It's like this. It's got a lovely little line down there. It's just. Fucking, <laughs> like, it was getting a boner. <laughs> so Someone get lights nice. some water, please. Yeah, you got a shower around there. I need a cold one. No, but um, they're not normalised. Like everyone thinks you have to have like the perfect any waxed like. Neck. Yeah, no. They're just like it's an organ. It's not like a fashion show. It doesn't need to be amended. Yeah. Like it's just that's my that's my minge. Yeah. If you don't like it, you can yeah. fuck off and leave. Yeah. I'm so, I've never had if a guy. If you're not gonna snog it, I don't want to be with you. Exactly. Yeah. I've never had a guy. Because, like, oh, I get insecurities and that. Like, I when so I walk around right. naked and I'm like, oh, sometimes I hide my bits. And I, like, do I still that. do that now. I still, still walk do around that like now? this. Yeah. Well, I don't, you just like, like, like if I'm out. lying down and my labia's out, I don't mind. But I don't want you to see, like, me walking around naked. Yeah. Like, no, you're not seeing that. Boys like, don't care. Boys don't care. Do they not? Like, if it's your partner and you love each other, you it's just... not weird seeing a bit of like meat hanging out me whilst I'm walking around. Babe, I was sat there this morning after we had sex and you took a photo of my like my helmet just looking at you and like I felt embarrassed. I was like, oh what? <laughs> like it was just it was just there with you know halfway back. Like it looked like a little acorn kind of thing. Oh yeah, to be yeah, fair, like, I, I don't look. Yeah, at so you, you don't care, you don't care, do you? And the boys no. don't care either. Like, see, that's don't care. really interesting yeah, to hear really actually, isn't because it? as a girl, that makes me feel extremely comfortable yeah, knowing too. that the next time I'm naked in front of a guy that I'm talking to, oh, they don't like care. It. Yeah, because I don't you think they're like dicks are quite weird. Like they just flop off the body. Yeah, they're just bits of flesh that flop off yeah. the body. But I love them. Yeah, <laughs> I have obviously brought you guys on here, and I couldn't not do a game with you yeah, because I know that you guys are really fun and really lighthearted and up for anything. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you if it's cute or cringy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question and Lloyd, if, if you answer cute, that's because that's what you think Eden would say. Right. Ooh. I'm one of the cleverest lads, you know, so I might have to go <laughs> do And <this> <laughs> if you think Lloyd would find it cute, then you would put cute. So you're answering, okay, so answering for each other. Yeah. 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 Right, okay. So should we write cute on one and cringy on the other, and then just like hold it up? Let's just do that. Yeah. yeah. You're so clever. I'm so yeah. Why did I Why did I think of that? So I'm gonna ask the question. Yeah. And you're gonna reply with cute or cringy. Both of us are just one at a time. Yeah. What Both. I think. Okay. Yeah. And you're doing what I think. Yeah. 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 yeah finally. I don't know what so when I, I say three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it up. Hold it up to the camera. Yeah. Okay. Straight in the lens. Okay. okay right. Cute or cringy, Eden and Lloyd edition. Sharing toothbrushes, is it cute or cringy? <gasps> oh, is that right? Wait, yeah, I've forgotten what I'm doing. So Eden said cute. Yeah, Eden hates it. I don't mind it. Oh, I really? hate it. Yeah. yeah, I think it's disgusting. Oh, see, I love sharing toothbrushes. Really? <laughs> or if someone has like church breath and then they use it and then you have to use it, like. Yeah. Wait, did I get it right? Do yeah, it's I, right? yeah, I don't mind it. Oh. You always tell me off for using your yeah, toothbrush. Yeah, no, don't ever use it. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Stop me doing other things with that toothbrush. <laughs> so there's, there's one all then. Yeah, there you get that yeah. right. Perfect. Next question Shaving your partner's private parts. <laughs> Cute or cringy? Um. Eden would love to do it to me, but she would like me to do it to her. So you've an Eden's answered cringy, mm -hmm. and Lloyd's answered cringy. Yeah, but so, I, I basically. Eden... Lloyd, do you not understand the concept of the game? I am. <laughs> am I not? I so cringy. So you wouldn't want me to touch your asshole. No. Well, I wouldn't really want you to touch mine. Exactly. Yeah, so so you put oh, do you put cringe? Yeah. Okay, no. Sorry, I apologise. <laughs> You're telling me off before I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, can't, I don't even know what I'm holding up, to be honest. Right. Right, go again. Too old. <laughs> <Not bit. laughs> Too old. You're smashing it because you're, you're passing the quiz. Oh, my God, we're doing it right. Yeah. I'm so sorry. That's all right, baby. I just can't actually deal with it. I love the fucking word baby. I need <laughs> someone like you, Lloyd. <laughs> right, next question. Baby talk during sex. Mm. Cute or cringy? 
Okay, so you both answered cringe. No, no, yeah. don't ever talk to me. No, like never. That. Yeah, it's dirty. It's yeah, we, 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 we role, we role play. Yeah, strictly yeah. dirty. No, if you, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh baby, it's like, like shut when, up. when we're not having sex, it's like, are you okay, kitty? Like. But, oh, my, if you did that to me... Just yeah, no, it's not about that. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, like, you want to separate the sex, yeah. the, the, the sex talk and the cute talk. Because it can you don't get want to merge into yeah. one. Yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. when you get confused and stop having sex. So it's like yeah. spit in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Oh, my God. Okay. Wearing matching pyjamas. Cute or cringy? Oh, you both said cute. Is that right? We match yeah. all the time. Woo! Honestly, he watches me get dressed and then he'll yeah, get I'll dressed. Yeah, I put my outfit yeah, just to match. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. If do we you do get that matching with... pyjamas, oh my God. So I watched your TikTok earlier, right, that you posted yeah. and you've basically colour coordinated today. Yeah, do we do it every day. So if I wear like a white t-shirt, <laughs> black cargo, he'll wear white t-shirt, black cargo. Oh, so I love it. Yeah, always match. Yeah, I just like it to look the same. Yeah. No, See, I think that's together. cute. Yeah. I think that's really cute. Good morning texts every day. Both said cute. Yeah, what I used yeah. to do to Lloyd when we didn't live together is I go, um, I'd always go, good morning, a voice note, good morning, Lloyd. This is Magic 105.4, and here's your tune for to wake up to. Play me a song. And I'd play him a song. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, like, I'm I was, sorry. I wasn't, it wasn't being cute, I was just being like, no, <laughs> that is the most sickest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? How have I not ever thought of that? Yeah, this is your song to so wake up to. So, would you say that that helped you? Propose to Eden. <laughs> yeah. Was it like, was it that that kind of made you think, oh my God, this girl is like. Nah, you know what? Straight away, a new baby was one in a million. It's like, I'll never ever meet a girl like this again. I was like, you, you know, you just got to really weigh your options up here. And I was just like, she's banging. She's just lovely to me. You know, she really likes me. She's a kind person. It was just like, it was just every box was getting taken. So I was like, you just got to wipe out. Yeah. yeah I honestly, no hesitation. Even asking him was. Uh, the only person I asked was your dad, but I just knew straight up what I was doing. Oh, I love that. I want to know something, Mike, because I watched the engagement on TikTok. It's yeah. on. Is it on both of your TikToks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just drop your Inst um, your TikTok handles quickly. Aiden Hall's um, official. At, at Lord Hume. I never Amazing. wanted official, but my name got stolen. I know, same. Yeah. That was with my Insta cringe. Yeah. yeah. So, who <laughs> was the cameraman behind the proposal? Uh, basically, um, this guy, right? So, we were, we were um, at a hotel. And I basically I said to this guy, I was like, look, I've, I've did it before we went. I was like, I need this whole restaurant. I was like, I don't want to be proposing in some buffet area. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I be, loved yeah it. be absolutely tacky. Um, so I said, look, this is what I want. So we had this whole restaurant. It's like, you know, sea, like just above the sea. Um, and I had everything right. And what I didn't need, I didn't think I needed to say to this guy, because I don't want you there. Right, so I had my phone like propped up on the side, sort of hidden good. away. Did you know that the phone was there? No, it you was didn't right see behind it. a wine bottle. So yeah, so wine I had, it, so here, like, had it. And the phone was like here, so the camera was there. Right, yeah, okay. so I had, it, I had it like hidden. Anyway, so I proposed. And then, matey Pete. But when you pulled me in, like he looked to his right, and I was looking there, and I was like, what's going on? Yeah, so I had the camera hidden away, then we proposed. And then this matey peeps, right, just picked up the phone and started doing this to us when we were kissing and that. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, this guy that you worked. What, with the phone? Up. Yeah, the phone up and was like zooming into our mouths. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. He just turned into Carl's eyes or some like wicked photographer, like, you know what I mean? Some David Attenborough vibes. I was like, mate, what are you doing? I was like, like documenting it, but yeah. he made it very awkward. Yeah, I was just I was like, like, and then basically got to the point where I was like, do you know what, do you want to just go? So we're like, yeah, yeah fuck we it, like, let's go. And then have loads of sex, yeah. engagement sex. Yeah. 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 No, honestly, I think you got flat out drunk that night, didn't you? Yeah, I had to. Like, I, I didn't care, I was on my phone, I was like, I'm engaged. Um, <laughs> I got one more cute and cringy. Go on. Go on. Plucking your partner's ingrown hairs in a Euro tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Now, for you. anyone that doesn't Thank know, um, there was a TikTok the other day, that, well, was it the other week? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That they posted, and um, yeah, they were plucking hairs out of Eden. It was my pube as yeah, well. Yeah, the pube in yeah. the Euro tunnel, and I thought that was really cute. I wish so I saw it. Also, like, sometimes Eden gets, like, you know, just random hairs, like, everyone's Yeah, I get loads of hairs on my chest. I get them on my nipple. Yeah, oh, I get them loads on my nipple. And nipples. I have to shave them. Yeah, I shave my nipples I, I, and my toes. I bite Eden's out, so, like, pull them off <laughs> on the chest. Do you? Yeah, and, and, like, I get it with my tongue, find it, and I just pull it with my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> So they have teeth plucking, it's a new thing, try it. Oh, I love it. Well, one thing that we've learned about today's podcast of Eden and Lloyd is that the the secret to being a happy couple is just communication. Yeah. Come for and solutions. being vulnerable enough to be able to express what upsets you and your anxieties. And, and ignoring the norms of what exactly. people think of a relationship. If you want to follow the Banging podcast on socials, it is Banging with Chloe V Pod on Instagram and it's also banging with Chloe V pod on 
TikTok. And we would love to hear your dilemmas, your stories of your messiest exes, even if you've got any cute or cringy stories to tell us. Anything like that on the Banging Podcast is gold to me because then it stops me rambling on for so long um send it into the email address and you can follow me on instagram at chloe veach official and you can also follow eden on instagram at eden halves official and lloyd uh lloyd hume h-u-l-m-e <laughs> and lloyd has also got a cooking book out i have if you are not really technical on the pans this book will have you tacky in 10 minutes yeah, um, we've eaten so much from that. Cookbook. Yeah, we had to make fifty dishes. Like, oh my god, we was ate massive. It so much. Uh, but yeah, if you you know if you're interested in cooking, no matter what style of level you're at, I've got some really nice recipes in there. Of about forty eight dishes. It's not much. You can get it on HP or on the link in my bio. Thank you. And one thing that I learned as well is that the pictures in the cookbook are realistic, so yeah. you won't be frauded. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. people are always like, "Oh, mine doesn't look like that." So I was like, "Lloyd, just put in somewhere the food looks shit." Exactly. Just like yeah. just for our in, like because that's what it will look like, but it tastes incredible also we put this picture in of me which is so cringe see if you can spot it um but basically eden and um, my sister were like Lloyd, please put that in the cup box so i did it um let me know if, you, if you've got it which page you think it is because it is jokes go get the book and message them on socials um thank you so much and tune in to the next episode and we'll leave it there thank you babes Yay. bye see you later <laughs> Banging with Chloe Veach is part of the Eve Podcast Network and a Forever Dog production. Executive producer, Tracy Soren. Development executive, Mariah Nicholas. Senior producer, Paloma Kaufman. Producer, Ewan Newbigging Lister. Post producer and theme song, Brian Hevron Smith. Cover photo by Greg Bailey. Forever Dog Productions is Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Brett Boehm.